Um, okay, so now that I got that out of the way. So name equals, now we're going to want to strip any tags from it. Uh, this will basically say if there are any JavaScript tags, uh, basically hackers can't add, uh, add in any retarded JavaScript uh, or whatever kind of script uh, functions into our database and screw it all up. Um, this is very important because you kind of don't want your database to be screwed up. Okay, so I'm going to get, get, this is going to get it from the URL, like up here. If you've ever seen the URL, so create user uh, user.php username, it's a question mark username equals Harry or something like that. That's what it is. So you're going to want to get uh, information from the URL. So what we will be getting is the variable. The username. Okay. And then we can just copy and paste this for other things. So password Okay, so there we go. And once uh, we've done that, we're going to want to insert that data into our database. Uh, so the way that you uh, get stuff from a PHP database is do the little mark thing out of the little money sign. And then you want to say, uh, you can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to name it request. So request equals, now here's the part that you have to follow me directly. And so MySQL query. Uh, now, insert. Now, any words in capital, you will have to uh, do as exactly as I do. Uh, any other words, um, you replace with your own information. See, so it's going to insert into. Now, I believe we call it users. Uh, so insert into the database users or whatever your database is, and you're going to want to set the username uh, to when you're within parentheses you don't or when you're in quotation marks you don't want to put more quotation marks just uh, don't hold down shift when you're pressing the quotation mark buttons to make whatever you do there and then so name and then password equals Password. So this is just the information that we wrote up there, and it is just that easy. So taking that information, putting it right here. And so that's request one. You can just copy and paste, it, make it request two. Actually, uh, so go back over to your database for a sec. Uh, remember, we made the field stats. Now, uh, and we could set the username and then the score to zero, but instead we could just make our lives a tiny bit easier. And so we're going to want to edit the structure and say that the default is as defined, and you are going to define it as zero. So just save that, and you're done. Okay. Now back to our other window. So request one equals entered into. That's username equals name, and we don't have to put anything uh, else about the score or anything. It'll automatically do zero for that username. And then if request one, and you always have to put two little end things, and request one. And so if they both worked, if they both returned a yes, then you want to echo. This is how you uh, put out text in PHP uh, into the browser. You just want to say your account has been success. 
that's fully created. Hmm. Okay. And then you are done with the PHP for your database. Uh, so you can try that out. The URL that uh, you'd be using is so whatever your domain name is, mine is hairworks.com and so slash tutorial. That was the name of the folder that we made. So if you go to your database name.com slash tutorial, then you'll see uh, an Apache thing and uh, whatever. Apache is basically just like the database stuff. And so you'll see parent directory means just to go back to the main directory, harryworks.com, or the create user that we made. Oh, okay, so it looks like there was a problem on line two. Line two, before I even started, I messed up. Let's see what I did. Uh, I don't know. What, oh, okay, I know what I did. Right. No, I don't. Oh, okay, so the username also has to have this in front of it. That little Harry Roll 2 under space thing in the boober. Uh, and the username. Let's see if that works now. Spell problem. Hmm, where did my password be from? I'm just going to cut and come back when I figure out what I did. <laughs>